Good evening, good evening. It is Tuesday, the 16th of April 2013, and uh, it's Vapor Scene. Yes, indeed. Roll those titles. Vapor Scene is proudly sponsored by Health e Vape, UK purveyor of e cigarettes and e liquid. And good evening, it is Vapor Scene. Let me move my coffee cup out of the way. I'll just put it there, there you go. Um, yes, it is Vapor Scene. It is Tuesday night and it's the 16th of April. Where's it going? My goodness, it'll be Easter soon and then there'll be Christmas presents in the shops uh, after Easter because let's face it, Easter eggs go in the shops just after Christmas. But there you go. We have got quite a lot uh, going on today. Uh, we've got the uh, Twitter bomb retweet um, a little bit later, in fact, oh, I don't know, about three minutes, really. Um, but I thought I'd give you a quick update um, about this. Do -do 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 -do. Yes, I've got a letter from my MP um, who replied after my meeting that I had uh, in uh, February, 22nd of February, I believe it was, uh, with Dan Jarvis, who's my local MP. And he's got a, a reply back from the parliamentary... Under Secretary of State for Health, Anna Sorby. Yes, and uh, do you want to have a look at it? Yeah, why not? Here we go. Uh, obviously, I've taken out my address details. <laughs> um, but um, basically, the last bit, it's the last paragraph that we really want to know. Uh, she says uh, that we want to ensure that an effective regulatory framework exists to protect consumers from any electronic cigarette products that fail to meet acceptable standards for quality, safety and efficacy. Reducing the public health impact of smoking remains a priority for the Department of Health. We do not want to reduce the availability of products that help to reduce smoking, but we do want to ensure that smokers have access to products that are acceptably safe and that support smokers in reducing the number of cigarettes they smoke or to quit. There's a change. Uh, she goes on to say that the government will be reviewing the proposals in the TPD carefully um, with the MHO in mind and um, the last bit there. This means that the legislation is unlikely to be adopted before 2014 or come into effect before 2015-2016. Interesting, don't you think? Um, kind of encouraged at the fact that this is put reducing the number of cigarettes they smoke or to quit instead of just the old quit or die malarkey but there you go so that was the reply that uh, was sent to my MP uh, and he sent it on to me so he did very much what he said he was going to do so uh, Dan Jarvis I applaud you and I do follow you on Twitter I do indeed anyway talking about Twitter hmm what about this Twitter bomb. Retweet. <laughs> yes, it's Twitter bomb retweet time. Uh, and on Andy's show on Saturday, a new person, I, I'm not going to say victim, okay, a new victim, um, was um, <laughs> identified and we sent out a hell of a lot of tweets. Uh, and uh, if you didn't see it or you want to recap, Here's what happened. If you would like to close chat, there are going to be 26 tweets posted in chat. 26. You take the letter of the tweet and your first name and the letter of your second name and the tweet. If you I will like be A and S, I'm Andy Sutton. Dave Dawn, duh duh, will not post D twice. What he will do is he will post D for David and O, the second letter of his surname. So don't post the same tweet twice, 
post your first name and your last name. It's kind of like doing your porn star name, you know, you know, but slightly different. This is the Twitter bomb, people. This is the Twitter now, bomb. Now, if we all post two, that's amazing. If we all retweet them, that's going to be bonkers. You can see the target of the Twitter bomb. Now, it is Glenis Wilmot. Yes. Now, let me just show you a few things about this lady here. You will have seen her in our promo. That is parliamentary footage, which is uh, public domain footage. I want to make that clear. Uh, we are, we've got all the rights in the world to use that. And um, this is the lady that we are looking at. She wants to medicinalize electronic cigarettes. I personally disagree with that. And the tweets, I think you will agree, voice that. Now, the important thing to say about the tweets is we want to make it as easy as possible to do a tweet. We also want to ensure that what goes out isn't going to, you know, it's not offensive. It's just asking a question that, sure, we'll get her attention. Here she is, Glenis Wilmot. Um, interestingly, she's got a medical background. She, um, she was in haematology, which is blood. She was also a medical scientist as well. So she has got a medical and scientific background. Um, and she's an MEP who doesn't like electronic cigarettes. Well, there we are. Chat is open again. Welcome back. You're in the room. You're in the room. Hello. Welcome. Welcome. If you've had any problems or anything, just direct it to one of the uh, the members of staff and we'll be with you shortly. Twitter bomb. Retweet. <laughs> and that is what happened on Saturday night. And we were tracking um, how many tweets per hour was happening there. Uh, and we reached about 6,000 tweets an hour. Everyone was tweeting and retweeting and retweeting. And that's what we need to continue to do. So when you're on Twitter, when you get a tweet from somebody else, retweet it. Make sure you're using the hashtag, hashtag EU eSig ban. Uh, and they'll all go into that hashtag search and we'll be able to track all the tweets. And uh, I'm just looking across at my Skype. Yes, so this week's Twitter bomb recipient. Yeah, if you go to either the Vapor Trails TV Facebook page um, or Vapor Trails TV Twitter, or you go to the SWAF Facebook page, and there's a link for that on the Vapor Trails TV Facebook page, and send Andy and us your uh, suggestions for who we should uh, send the next Twitter bomb to and that will be on Saturday and then we'll do the retweet um, on Tuesday. So that's the plan uh, ongoing for the, uh, the Twitter bomb and the retweeting of same uh, and my iPhone and iPad just keep going crazy. <laughs> <laughs> it's just Twitter after Twitter after Twitter, which is really good, really, really good. And, uh, you know, we're getting noticed, getting noticed, definitely. And if you were here at pre-show, you'd have seen the little video that I put up that uh, Nikki Sinclair posted today. Uh, if you didn't see that, go along to our Facebook page because it will be on there or find it on Twitter um, and support it, retweet it, because she makes a lot of sense and she's on our side which is excellent. So uh, thank you very much to Nikki Sinclair. Right then, let's, uh, let's have some jollity. Yes, some jollity. Uh, let's have a look at this week's Show Us Yours Rogues Gallery. And now it's time for Show Us Yours, sponsored by Flavor Art UK.
show is yours. Sponsored by Flavor Art UK. Yes, that was this week's show is yours gallery. And uh, do you want to know who the winner is? Let me look at the right one. Yes, I'm going to press this button here. And it is Sarah Nash, otherwise known as uh, Ratfinks in chat. Well done, Sarah. Um, lovely little picture that sent uh, some time ago, but I pulled it out of my folder today. Uh, I will be in contact with you after the show and tell you how you get your juice. And if you would like to go into the draw to win a bottle of juice, send me an email, vaporscene at vaportrails.tv. Get it to me by 12 p.m. on a Tuesday. The show goes out and you'll be in that week's uh, gallery. If you get it in after that, it'll be the week after because I've got to edit it. It was a bit tight today getting home from work and getting it edited, but it's there. Uh, and uh, you could get into the draw for a bottle of juice courtesy of John over at Flavor Art UK. And thank you, John, uh, for your continued support for our little compy there. Right then, we better go into the ads because I've got a bit of VT coming up afterwards. Uh, so uh, I'll see you in two. Vapor Scene is proudly sponsored by Health EV, UK purveyor of e cigarettes and e liquid. in Yorkshire for your ECB needs. That's iVeber.co.uk and iVeber-elixir.co.uk. iVeber and iVeber-elixir.co.uk approach sponsors of VeberTrails.tv. Now it's back to Vaporseam on Vapor Trails TV. Vaporseam is proudly sponsored by Health e Vapor, UK purveyor of e-cigarettes and e-liquid. And we're back in the room. Hello. Uh, I must just say before we go on to the next bit, um, Andy mentioned about porn star names on Saturday's show. So uh, I googled earlier on, uh, and my porn star name, I've got two. Uh, one is Max Loose Lips, and the other one is Ronnie Pickle. <laughs> I'll put it into a porn star name generator. Uh, I'm also uh, Stanky Left Handed um, Shrinky Nuts, that's my mafia name. Uh, and my vampire name is Bl Bloodless Darvon Grimm. <laughs> Where do these come from? I do not know. Anyway, I just thought it was a bit of a tickle. Um, so uh, I did that. Yeah, so do a little Google. Do a porn star name. Put your name in and see what comes out. Very entertaining. Right, we're going to go into a little vapor trail. It's kind of a vapor trail. It's my vaping journey, which turns into a, a bit of an EU thing. Um, and you'll notice I use two different cameras. An iPhone is one, and the other one is just my 1080p camera. Uh, and uh, I wish I had two of these to put in the car, but they're expensive, so I haven't. Um, so um, it's a kind of a slight quality between one and two, but you get the idea. Um, anyway, 
Have a little look and I hope you enjoy. I thought I'd talk about my vaping journey today because it's been a while since I started vaping. Uh, and it's kind of apt that I'm actually on a journey as I talk about my vaping journey um, because I'm currently driving home from uh, Scotland. I started vaping in February 2012 uh, and I had to stop smoking because I was having an operation on my knee and the surgeon said the best thing to do is to not smoke for two weeks before your operation and that would help you with recovery and less complications uh, with the general anaesthetic and all that kind of stuff and this was going to happen in the April so I thought to myself well if I'm going to stop for two weeks why don't I just stop um, but I really wanted to carry on with the nicotine but I knew that smoking wasn't the answer so I looked into various alternatives, uh, one of which was nicotine patches. Uh, and I was out shopping in uh, a large supermarket uh, and I went down their health and beauty and pills aisle and I found some patches. And they were on offer, it was two for 14 pounds or something. Um, so I picked up a couple of boxes and took them home. I then started to look around on the internet and looked at some other options. It got me thinking about electronic cigarettes. So I started to Google and Google and Google again. And I found lots of websites. I found lots of YouTube videos all about e-cigs. So then I joined a couple of forums. I joined the Liberty Flights forum and then I found what used to be UKVapors.com which then became and is now UKVapors.org and I found a great bunch of people on there who offered lots of advice uh, and it looked like the way to go, to be honest. So that's what I did. And I went over to Liberty Flights and I bought myself a Reva 901 kit, which was a little tank kit. Two 901 batteries, cone, atomizer. Uh, and I went straight in with mixing my own as well. I didn't buy any pre-made juice. I thought, okay, we'll give this a go and I'll mix my own. So I bought myself a small amount of nicotine and some VG and some flavoring, a few bottles, a couple of syringes, that kind of stuff. I just got myself set up and I started mixing my own. And I've been mixing my own juice now since then. Um, and I buy in a high strength, I buy it 75 milligram, uh, which I can't buy in this country, so I tend to buy from overseas. Although I do buy 54 um, from one company in the UK. And I mix that down, and I started at around about 12 milligram, because I thought, yeah, that's about what a roll up is. You don't get as much nicotine in a roll-up cigarette than you do with a, um, a factory-made cigarette. So I thought 12 milligrams would be ample. Um, and as I went on, I realised that 12 really wasn't strong enough to beat the nicotine craving and um, stop me from wanting a cigarette. So I upped it to 18. And now, I regularly vape anywhere between 18 and 24 milligram. I have been known to use 36 on occasion, but primarily if I'm buying juice, I'll buy either 18 or 24. And all the flavors I mix myself are usually 24 milligram. 
and I use primarily VG, although I do add a little bit of PG these days, just for an extra bit of throw tip. And I'm fairly happy at 85-90% VG. Um, my nicotine liquid is VG, and then I'll add more VG and um, a tiny bit of PG. I do find that the PG tends to dry me out a lot more than the more VG heavy juices, uh, which is why I favour those. So February 2012, the 18th of February 2012 at 9.30 at night was my last cigarette. That's the last time I actually lit a cigarette and inhaled the smoke. And although I do consider myself an ex-smoker, that's only in relation to lighting it and burning it and not the use of nicotine. So I do still class myself as a nicotine user because that's what I am. And I enjoy using nicotine. I enjoy vaping. And I enjoy it a lot more than I used to enjoy smoking. It's all about choice in the end. I choose to use an electronic cigarette. I choose to vape my nicotine instead of burning a cigarette and inhaling the smoke to get my nicotine. But we find ourselves under attack from the European Parliament who want to limit what we can do, want to take away the products that we use that, without a shadow of a doubt, are elongating our lives. That's it. You know, there's no argument here. Electronic cigarettes are far, far, far safer than smoking a traditional cigarette by setting fire to it and inhaling the smoke. There are so many more chemicals in a traditional cigarette than there are in an electronic cigarette. So if I wasn't a smoker, I wouldn't be a vapor. But because I still want to use nicotine, I'm going to use the safer option. And I'll be damned if the European Parliament are gonna take that away from me. And I'm gonna fight tooth and nail to get electronic cigarettes out of the Tobacco Products Directive. It doesn't belong in there. You can't class something as a medicinal item if it has no medicinal use. It's no more dangerous than caffeine. And I'm a big caffeine fan. You know, I drink a lot of coffee and I drink strong coffee. Is that going to be under fire next? Are we not going to be able to go into our favorite coffee shop and have a four shot venti latte or a six shot venti latte? Are you going to need a special license to have more than one shot of espresso? Come on, let's start getting real here, European Union. Let's start getting real. We must fight the European Union and we must fight the Tobacco Products Directive. Because if we don't, if we do nothing, then this will disappear. You will not be able to buy these devices. You just won't be able to buy them. If you mix your own liquid and you've got enough, then you can carry on. The batteries, you can get. You can build yourself a device. That's not a problem. But you won't be able to buy them like this. That's what will happen. That's the reality. They will disappear. If you want to continue vaping, then you're going to have to fight for it. You're going to have to make sure that you are contacting your MP, your MEP, your local news station, 
your local newspaper and you are telling them about your story. You're going to the Smoke Without Fire Facebook page. You're uploading your story onto YouTube. You're getting your story out there because people need to see it. The MPs need to see it. At the moment, all they're seeing is quit or die. Vaping's not about quitting or dying. It's about a lifestyle change. It's about using electronic cigarettes and using vaping to still enjoy using nicotine in a safer, safer way. And we're back with me. A uh, bit long that video, um, but uh, I think I got everything across that I wanted to get across. Um, I do like my drive from Scotland, I have to say. I can get a lot of stuff done in the car. <laughs> uh, question came in from chat, Vaporman. Um, that is the um, drip tip that I was using. I actually got this from Health Cabin. Um, I don't know if they're available in the UK or not. Um, but yeah, it, it really kind of sets off the uh, Argotee quite nicely. Um, so uh, there you go. That's where it was from. Um, right, I've got about ooh, a minute left. So um, just to reiterate, that's what we need to be doing. Using the hashtag EU eSig ban on all our tweets uh, and getting our videos and stuff up to Andy at the SWAF Facebook page and he will put them all together uh, into something spectacular for he is a wizard in the editing suite. Uh, and if you've ever seen the uh, heavy bikers and other stuff, uh, you will see. Uh, right then, what's coming up the rest of the week? Well, I'm not exactly sure what's happening tomorrow night um, because Dave is waiting for some confirmations from some people, so I won't tell you who they are uh, at the moment. I'm sure he will mention in chat if he's got anything uh, on the update since I spoke to him 30 minutes ago. Um, but he will be here tomorrow with VT Talk and he'll be back again on Thursday with the Haze Hour. He's a glutton for punishment, that man. He works so hard. And then we have a little break on Friday, but Mr. Sutton will be here on Saturday with the next Twitter bomb. Oh, yes. Who's it going to be? I don't know. You need to go get onto the, uh, the Facebook page uh, and onto the Twitter and onto the SWAF Facebook page and tell us who you would like. And it will happen. And then we'll be here next week to retweet it. <laughs> Sunday, uh, not exactly sure what's happening with Dave's show, what he's going to put out. I know that he is ensconced over in his new job in Switzerland until Friday. So he's got a lot of work to do when he gets home. <laughs> Monday, of course, it's Tin Your Tip with Gary and Mark. And I will be here next Tuesday. So until then, my friends, happy vaping. Peace out, and this week I'm going to put the credits instead of the adverts. See you next week. Scene is proudly sponsored by Health Evade, UK purveyor of e-cigarettes and e-liquid. <laughs>